Hi, my name is Jen Diamond, um, and as of August, I'm a developer at the UCLA Library. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> yes, I get a pension someday. Who knew that word still existed? Um, so my team is working on a very important project for the library, and we chose an open source uh, solution to implement it. The project is to create a digital repository for millions of rare and unique objects that UCLA has, and uh, they have a huge, incredible collection of treasures. Um, Previously, these collections were only available to be viewed by researchers and students because they're incredibly fragile. You touch this medieval manuscript and it disintegrates in your hand. You have to go to a special part of the library and put on white gloves and look at it on a pillow. Um, so we want all these resources to be available to everyone all over the world. Many of these collections have already been digitized and stored on an existing website, but that site's about 15 years old now, and it's tightly coupled to this horribly old operating system, and it makes updating it and maintaining it incredibly difficult. Um, because we're a library, we have to be a, library, a reliable source for locating data and storing these treasures long term. So disaster recovery is not the same as digital preservation, as my coworker Hardy Prodinger uh, has said over and over. Um, to rebuild our repository, we chose the open source solution called Samvera. Um, this is a uh, it's versatile and feature rich solution that uh, is being used by institutions worldwide to provide access to their digital content. It's um, being used by like-minded institutions, like all these listed here. Um, and uh, because so many institutions are involved in this community, we all contribute to long-lasting solutions. Um, Sambera is primarily used in libraries um, uh, and digital repositories. It allows storage of any type of digital files for the purposes of access and archiving, and it's suited to both large and small collections. Our collection's quite large. Um, <clears throat> so, the stack. Slide, please. Um, <laughs> so, our stack um, of our project is based around um, four major components. Uh, the, the Fedora repository sof uh, software, which provides a robust and durable uh, repository layer for persisting and managing digital objects. Um, Solar Index, which provides uh, screaming fast searches. It's uh, what uh, Elasticsearch runs on, I believe. Um, and it's also open source. And IIIF provides access to uh, high quality image resources. When you go to the show page, um, you can get a huge image of these ancient artifacts and zoom in onto like the button that um, someone is wearing in 1920 and see that it's, oh, it's a tiny bird. Um, um, Blacklight uh, provides <clears throat> faceting, searching, browsing, and tailored views. Um, and it's a Ruby on Rails engine, so um, we have entered into a modern phase at the library. Um, the library is also starting to use Agile for the first time, um, which is kind of propelling our project forward faster than any other project that the library's had previously. And we're lucky to be working with a consulting company called DCE, Digital Curation Experts. Um, some of their developers were even responsible for writing um, Samvera and Black Blacklight from scratch. So we, ha uh, we get to leverage their expertise. Um, in a very direct way. Um, so this project is about bringing the treasures that UCLA Library possesses out in the world for anyone to discover and create with. Um, Lisa McCauley, the woman who I work with and is the lead of this project, has, uh, is an incredible woman and she is just um, projecting this project forward very quickly. Our motto is higher education is a nonprofit organization working to improve our society through teaching people skills and knowledge, but most importantly, teaching people how to learn. End of presentation. <laughs> Thank you.